Welcome back. We are here looking at the ETFs and it's going to be my daily forecast for Wednesday, April 14, 2021. If you'd like to support the channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner. Hit the like button and the bell button to see your news videos and you're welcome to join us over at Patreon where you can get access to our full technical analysis, our signal service and also our online trades and courses. The link is down below. So we'll start by looking at the ARK Innovation ETF and as you can see, we are up... Uh, nearly 4% today. So uh, we are trading just underneath the 100 moving average at the 127.56. Technical indicators are all turning around. MACD is heading into bullish territory. So yes, it was a really good day for the markets today, especially the NASDAQ and those tech stocks, which, uh, which uh, the CDF is basically based on most of them. And uh, you can see that we are basically heading towards the top of the bullish band. So we should be running into resistance around, uh, give or take, 130. That's where we should find major resistance just at the 150 moving average. Otherwise, technical indicators are very bullish. So momentum is to the upside. Breakdowns from here will most likely find support at the, uh, at the 20 exponential, 122 at uh, give or take 118, and then all the way down at the 200 down here at 109. So let's look at DVI. So if you, um, the DVI has basically fallen towards that 20 exponential and then rallied. We're still a little, we are down um, a, a few points, but uh, not nothing significant. Uh, the 20 exponential is holding quite significantly. And as long as that is the case, the, we are most likely going to continue with this rally to the upside. Technical indicators are fairly mixed. MACD is in bullish territory, but uh, it is uh, bearish at this current stage underneath the signal line. So because the RSI is bullish, the CCI is uh, becoming bearish, and the stochastic is becoming bearish. If we break down from here, uh, 20 exponential will most likely offer support, and this uh, uptrend line will offer even more support. Rally to the upside, we'll find major resistance up here at this trend line. And uh, yes, at this current stage, it it is, looks like we are going to see a, a minor pullback before we continue rallying to the upside. So VTI. So VTI has, is up 0.28% at this current stage. Technical indicators, all of them are significantly uh, bullish at this point. We are also significantly overbought and significantly overstretched here. So a, a pullback is expected. I've been saying this for a few days now, but uh, yes, it has basically been hugging the top of the bullish band for quite some time, similar to what we have seen here. And uh, back then we had an absolutely total collapse towards the bottom of the bullish band, a drop of roughly 7%. Not saying that's going to happen now, but uh, when you get RSIs that are this high and also getting this uh, overstretched to the upside, then we could see um, the fall will be also that bigger. Uh, pullbacks towards the middle of the bullish band, give or take, just underneath the 20 exponential could be expected, or the very bottom of the bullish band is also expected before going higher at this current stage. So let's look at MCHI. So MCHI, we can see that we have rallied 0.20% at this point. We're trading at the 60, uh, no, 81.66. Technical indicators, some of them have turned around. MACD is above the signal line, still in negative territory. RSI is uh, a little bit bullish. Uh, CCI is flat, stochastic is bearish. And we're trading just underneath the middle of the bullish band here. So the 200 moving average should be should be major support as we saw back here. Uh, but there's a lot of uh, work to do in order to get through these moving averages just above. So there's going to be resistance at the 120, and the 20 exponential, the 40, and definitely also the 50 up here at the 87. So this has a tumbled all the way down towards the 200 moving average and drop of roughly 19% and has gained, gained um, give or take 3.32% uh, in the last uh, two weeks. So there's a lot of work to do be done in order to get back to these uh, previous highs. So let's look at IBB. 
So as you can see, we are getting to the very top of this channel. And uh, if we break above this channel, then yes, we will go significantly higher. But at this point, we are significantly overstretched and overbought and a pullback towards the 20 exponential down here at 402 or uh, the 50 minute week average down here at this 394. That is kind of to be expected at this point before going higher. Uh, 20, 40 and the 50 have offered a support in the past and um, at this current stage, we are getting fairly overstretched. Doesn't mean that we'll break down all of a sudden. We can see what happened here. We did stay uh, for some time up um, towards this channel before uh, breaking. It just means that if we don't manage to break above this channel and just stay here for a while, then we'll most likely see a pullback before going higher. So, hope you find this helpful. You're welcome to support our channel by subscribing, hit the like button, and the bell button to see our new videos. And you're welcome to join us over at Patreon. The link is down below. Good luck and thank you very much.